Good afternoon, everyone. This is Deaconess Elizabeth, and it is Friday, May the 13th. And I'm here again for your daily devotions. And today, our daily devotions is from uh, Luke chapter 11, starting at the first verse. So if you'd like to follow along, you may turn there now. One day, Jesus was praying in a certain place. When he finished, one of his disciples said to him, Lord, teach us to pray just as John taught his disciples. He said to them, When you pray, say, Father, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Give us each day our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as for we also forgive everyone who sins against us. And lead us not into temptation. Then he said to them, Suppose one of you has a friend and goes to him at midnight and says, Friend, lend me three loaves of bread. Because a friend of mine on a journey has come to me, and I have nothing to set before him. Then the one inside answers, Don't bother me. The door is already locked, and my children are with me in bed. I can't get up and give you anything. I tell you, though he will not get up and give him the bread because he is a friend, yet because of the man's boldness he will get up and give him as much as he needs. So I say to you, Ask, and it will be given to you. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and the door will be opened to you. For everyone who asks receives. He who seeks finds, and to him who knocks the door will be opened. Which of you fathers, if your son asks for a fish, will give him a snake instead? Or if he asks for an egg, will give him a scorpion? If you then, though you are evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your Father in heaven give the Holy Spirit to those who ask him? All right, so that's our reading for today, all about prayer and uh, coming to our Father to, uh, in prayer to ask him um, for for things. And so um, right away, we have Jesus is praying and his disciples come to him and ask him to teach them how to pray. And so Jesus gives them this model prayer, the Lord's Prayer. And uh, then he gives them an example and says, okay, suppose that one of you has a friend um, and... Or, or he gives an example of a friend that goes to a neighbor's house at midnight asking for bread. And um, Jesus says that the neighbor will, le will leave his children in his bed to get the bread, not because he is a friend, but because of the man's boldness of asking him at midnight in the middle of the night. So we too are to ask our dear father, or, or to come to our dear father with all boldness and confidence and ask him as dear children ask their dear father as uh, Jesus continues and says, which of you fathers, if your son asks for a fish, will give him a snake instead. Um, so our earthly fathers know how to give us good gifts, even though um, all of us are sinful. And so how much more will our heavenly father give the Holy Spirit to those who ask him. So, good section on prayer today, and our hymn is going to be hymn 779, Come My Soul with Every Care. It's found in the Lutheran Service Book, and we're going to do verses 1 and 2. Come my soul with every care, Jesus loves to answer prayer. He himself has bid thee pray, therefore will not turn away. Thou art coming to a king, large petitions with thee bring. For his grace and power are such, none can ever ask too much. And we'll, we will conclude with the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Well, thank you for joining me for today's daily devotions. Um, just a few announcements looking ahead to this week. We have tomorrow, we have our Sprouts group meeting at 1 p.m. 
and that is for our younger kiddos. Um, we have a Bible study or a little Bible story and some activities and some snacks that go along with that and that we'll, we'll be meeting over in um, the youth room for that. Um, this Sunday there is a voters meeting and also a VBS meeting so please uh, plan on being there after the service for uh, both of those meetings if you are involved in one or the other. Um, so that those are that those are the events for that this coming week we have our women's bible study again on tuesday at 1 p.m here um and if you aren't able to make it there is a zoom link um if you need help getting um a copy of our bible study let me know and i can help you get a copy of it and uh we will not be having youth night this week as uh, we have preschool graduation this wednesday um, those are the announcements that I have for right now, so I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your Friday.